Welcome boys and girls for yet another session with Date with DYC. Today, we have a fun topic that we're going to discuss about and I think a lot of people have their interest in. So today's topic is on mental health and we have none other than Dr. Vilona Annunciation amongst our myths who's going to be discussing about mental health. So come on, give her a round of applause, everybody. So Dr. Vilona Annunciation is a consultant psychiatrist at Institute of Psychological Health, Thane, and Prafulta Andheri West, Andheri East. So come on everybody, give Dr. Vilona a round of applause and thank you doctor for accepting our invitation. Thanks Melroy. Yeah. So Dr. Vilona, can you like give us some, uh, your entire experience about from, men from medical college until uh, post-graduation. So can you give us that experience and how was it? How was it fruitful, not fruitful and do you love it? So I absolutely love it. It's, um, I think, one of the best decisions that I made in my life to become a psychiatrist. Um, to be honest, becoming a doctor was something that was my dream right from the time I was okay. a child. So whenever anybody would ask me, what do you want to be? The first answer that would come was doctor. Okay. So it wasn't really very difficult after 10th to take up, uh, you know, 12th science and prepare for the medical entrances. And uh, my dream was to get admission in Mumbai. So I got admission in uh, Grant Medical College. Okay. And uh, I studied there for five and a half years. And I remember very clearly that when I went into college, the first thought that was in my mind was that, you know, maybe I'll do a post-graduation in gynec or okay. pediatrics because I love kids. And I always thought that I would be working with kids. But um, in my second year, so in second year medical college, we are posted in different departments. Okay. We are supposed to work in the hospital. And when I was posted in the pediatric department, uh, it would really upset me to see those kids crying. Like I couldn't deal with it. Okay. So, you know, I would be the one who was giving them injections or I would be the one who was... So did you also cry with them while giving them injections? No, I didn't cry with them, okay. but I would get really upset about it. Okay. So I said, okay, this is not working out for me. And um, somewhere in my first year, I also met my now husband, Denver. So okay. we started dating around that time. In medical college? No, no, in church. Oh! Yes, in, in church. church. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, when I met him, um, I also realized that I want to focus on my family. Okay. So I didn't want to choose a line that would have a lot of emergency calls in the night. So keeping all that in mind, my decision to take up psychiatry was... Uh, you know, what came up for me. And uh, while I was appearing for the post-graduation entrances, I had two options. One was uh, MD skin and the second was MD psychiatry. Okay. And um, somehow I got my seat for MD psychiatry and I said, okay, let's just go. Ahead. And you did your MD psychiatry in Bombay? No, I did my MD psychiatry down south. So there's this college in Mangalore called Father Muller's Medical College. And yeah, so I studied in... And yeah, so since I'm a Mangalorean... That was like a default option that I should apply in Mangalore yeah, and see if I absolutely. get admission. And since I got admission, then three years of MD was in Mangalore. So I did okay. my MD from the south. So tell us your most memorable experience of medical college. Huh, so there are like a lot of memorable experiences through medical college. And we had the most fantastic college in JJ Hospital campus. Okay. With like these um, green, uh, you know, streets that we would walk through and we had to, it was almost like a Harry Potter movie, you know. This because, is Bombay only, right? Yes, in oh. the heart of Bombay. So it was okay. like our uh, anatomy lecture hall uh, was so huge that it would accommodate uh, 200, 300 Wait, students. it's the same hall where Munna Munna MBBS, MBBS was shot in. So okay. Correct, correct. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's such an amazing college to come from. And uh, so we did a lot of... Um, a lot of activities, both in college and out. And um, I was hardly, uh, you know, 
available in college as soon as college got over i would run back uh, you know run back to home to meet denver but um, okay. when you think about it uh, my first experience with psychiatry was somewhere when i was in the second year and i was uh, sitting there uh, you know we are all undergraduate medical students we are so terrified of that doctor who's sitting there and taking yeah. the history and this doctor was sitting in her chair and there was a patient sitting in front of so us exactly like this yeah. like the patient is here the doctor is here and i'm sitting here with my notebook trying to note down whatever the doctor is saying and uh, so the doctor asks the patient aapko kya takleef ho raha hai and the patient says um मुझे ना ऐसे लगता है कि लोग मेरे बारे में बात कर रहे हैं मेरे बारे में बात कर रहे हैं एंड यू नो मुझे आवाजें सुनाई देती है दूसरों को सुनाई नहीं देती एंड आई एम लुकिंग लाइक दिस यू नो लाइक वट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो कम्प्लीटली ऑब्लिवियस टू दैक्ट यू नो वट इज है पेशेंट The doctor there turns to the patient very calmly and asks, uh, "Kaun si bhasha mein aawaz hai?" What? <laughs> I was like, "Really? That's your question? Like, don't you want to ask what he's been drinking or what he's been smoking or smoking up that he has these symptoms?" So okay. that was my first experience with psychiatry, and I was. No, I would ask him the question, "Kya baat hai karne?" <laughs> so, so exactly like yeah. to a normal um, person without any psychiatric background, it would seem very, very odd. Like, what is Haan. this conversation that is happening? and that was exactly my reaction so i wasn't even sure that i would do psychiatry at that point of time because i hadn't still decided but uh, now that's a lot of my day where i ask uh, All... questions and keep a straight face even though patients may be saying something that is completely but out wait, of the blue when when the, she asked the question ki kaun se bhasha mein baat kar rahe hain how was your reaction like did you laugh or you couldn't laugh or did you like go under the so we were given very strict instructions not to laugh not to pass any uh, you know comment okay. or say anything so because of that i had to control my laughter but then afterwards i remember going back to the hostel and discussing it with my friends and we all had a laugh about it because we couldn't believe that oh the psychiatry posting is like this any shocking experiences that you had when you were dealing with patients in psychiatry or in medical college or any time hmm So, one so you will have a lot, lot of those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm trying to figure out which one to tell you. Um, so one of the, uh, you know, one of my first lessons in psychiatry was to stay far away from the patient, and that was a lesson learned really hard. Okay. In the casualty, so we in uh, Father Muller's Medical College, hmm. there is an emergency department which is okay. the casualty. So whenever there is a problem, the patient is first brought to the casualty. Uh, especially if the normal opd is not running so the patient comes to the casualty is seen by the duty doctor and then they call the psychiatrist so they had called me saying that there was this uh, 40 year old lady who was acting extremely uh, you know abnormal and not listening to anybody and talking continuously and you know uh, not sleeping in the night and uh, me being a very enthusiastic young resident i went to the hospital and i went to the uh patient's uh, bedside and the sister came with the file telling me hmm. this is the pulse this is the blood pressure and everything and i said okay i noted all of that down and then in my extreme enthusiasm i went right next to the patient and uh, so this was a, a konkani speaking patient huh. and i said kal zyada dukha and uh, that patient was in um a state of extreme agitation yeah. so she just looked at me and gave me one fatag on the face oh, oh, and i was oh. like like shock like, like no one slapped you exactly like no patient has ever hit me before that and i was like i was taken aback for a minute and like in the casualty you know everybody is busy because there is yeah. somebody you know gasping for breath there is somebody come with a head injury or a bleeding or something like that nobody has time to pay attention to one psychiatric huh. resident being slapped so i just stood there frozen for a minute and i was like okay what's happening and uh, then i just collected myself and said okay well ona be calm you know you can't judge the patient the patient is not in a frame of mind please be patient okay so then i then i kept one arm distance Did anyone <laughs> come I nobody came for rescue like nobody came no, to find out what no, happened no no nobody no because it it is a very busy uh, casualty there is no time for anybody to be paying attention to what you're doing okay and of course once i realized that i did inform the nurses that the patient is violent so it's a good idea to 
you know start the sedation and probably make sure that somebody is there to or probably care. write in the report so the next so person doesn't get slept yeah, so i made a note of it huh. and uh, of course there i mean uh, on the job you learn so my seniors when i went and told them this they were like oh okay <laughs> you know like we were there we had already <laughs> been there done that kind yeah. of a thing so you know we we just laughed about it after so that. you've had some crazy career growth in in psychiatry and in as being a doctor <laughs> but you've also been very actively involved in the church and the youth and the youth movement how did you make time from meeting denver to the youth movement so uh with the youth movement i think a lot of my association started because of denver because okay. when i met him he was president of our uh youth group in thane okay. and he was All also presidents. the dyc uh he was also on the dyc uh, committee so committee. he would keep coming up and down and um in that sense uh as a family we've always uh, had a strong association with the church and with the youth um through his years in the youth as as a president as a dyc uh, member we would constantly do things together okay. like treks activities and everything and then after him i was also on the uh, you know uh, yeah first on the parish youth uh, okay. you know coordination team and then finally on the dyc committee but uh, that somehow came with my second year of mbbs and things got a little busy so um i remember in my year on the dyc i couldn't come very often because it was like thane jj and then bandra and it would get very chaotic for me to manage all of that yeah. so that was the one year that i did it and then i said i uh, requested them that i wouldn't be able to take it on because uh, medical college was just getting very uh, yeah, and you guys have some crazy schedules in yeah absolutely like we would start college at 8 am and college would finish at 5 and even after that there would be like studies to do yeah. lab uh, hospital work to do and everything so it wasn't possible to manage okay. and it wouldn't be right you know not to give time and you still give us. time to the to the youth movement in the in your parish for a while yes for a while yes. Okay so you've been a part of the youth movement as a part of the youth animation team after coming back from Mangalore is what i suppose what advice do you give to young animators to young parish youth animators elders who can now guide and mentor kids in the parish okay so um i really enjoy working with the youth so i think that is like a basic like you have to enjoy working with the youth you can't uh take it up because you know there's nobody else to do it or you know uh, what else can i do kind yeah. of a thing that cannot be the way you come to work with youth you really have to enjoy uh spending time with them talking yeah. to them interacting with them um i feel one important thing that uh, they need to keep in mind is that they should um listen okay to what you that be good listeners yeah then just giving advice then just giving advice giving advice is not going to work i uh. mean that's obvious but uh first listen and understand where the youth is coming from and what uh concerns they are reporting of or what is it that they want to grow in or what yeah. is it that they want to develop in um uh, and this, the only other thing that i would say to this is that be genuine that's it okay. because that genuineness shines so if the youth uh, that you are working with understand that you feel genuinely even though you may not be 100% right or you may make your own mistakes hmm. they will accept that Okay. They don't accept it when you try to put on a facade of, you know, I am this great person who can do everything yeah. and then not show them the real you. Yeah. I think they really appreciate the reality, the reality. rather than that Absolutely. um, you know, face that is put on. That I'm all prim and proper and I have a very different life behind exactly. this. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. there is no life that is prim and proper. No, there is always There's always flaws. There's always ups and downs and things. So it's it's i think it's a very important life lesson for okay. them to understand that you being in the position that you are you are still ready to be open and honest and vulnerable about whatever is happening so do you want to give like one advice to the current youth on those who are watching you right now uh, how can they balance their personal life church as well as have a have a great amount of dedication towards your education so how do they balance all of this and also be a part of the youth movement is my god that's a lot you're expecting no but that's what you did no <laughs> didn't you do it were you, you were you there back then if you can do it i think a lot of people can yeah so i would say that you know you need to uh, look at what your priorities are so you need to sit down and actually think about what it is that you want to focus on so at different points of time in my life focuses have been different okay. so like maybe before uh, second mbbs 
uh, I had a lot of time and a lot more commitment towards the youth movement. From second year MBBS to final year and internship, it was all my medical college. Then it was my marriage. Okay. Then it was, uh, you know, kids. And now it is, you know, building up a successful practice. So your priority at every stage in life is something Sunday. that you have to decide. And I think focus on that and you should be able to balance all of this. So my advice to all those who are watching this right now, that if you've heard this interview, you can find your soulmate in church. So you can also find your Denver's and Vilona's in church. So please go and join the youth movement. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely agree Absolutely, with that. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, as it's a date, no date is complete without having some sort of short games that we play. So, really? are you excited for some <laughs> games that we will play? Sure, I'm game for it. I okay. don't mind. <laughs> so, we will go and play some games. But before that, we have a selfie booth that's ready and we want you to come take a selfie with us sure. uh, that we will display. Sure. Thank you, Vilana. But we will be back with... The don't game. worry. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We are here for our selfie and okay, let me just get ready with camera. Three, two, one. Ready? Cheese. Now that we've done with our selfie with Dr. Vilona, host Melroy and our saviour Jesus Christ, we are back to some games. Okay. So the game, this game is very simple. We'll give you a face. And okay. that you are a doctor, you know where the eyes, nose, lips, tongue, ears, everything are. So you will be just putting all of these emojis on the face. Okay. Okay? But blindfolded. Okay. 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 And also you will not be able to see the face. Okay. Okay? Okay? Okay. Works? You are ready for this game? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. And if you win this game, you get a small prize. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you don't win it also... No, you will get a prize. <laughs> okay. Okay? okay? Works? Now okay. this is... But you have to sit down. Okay, you have to... Come behind, come behind. I'll give you the face. This is your pretty face. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you will have to attach all the ears, eyes, mouth, tongue, everything to this face. Okay. Don't but put it on the brain because you're a psychiatrist so everything rise there. But you can use it on the face. So, uh, if I can't see it, you will tell me which part is which, right? Huh, I'll give it to you. You can ask which part you want and I can give you that part. Alright, fair. Okay? Can we have you blindfolded? Yes. Blue folded. Is this a blind date with DYC? Okay, and this and also the thing is that after you, I'll be doing it. So, we will have a competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Works. So, now it's game on. Yes. Okay? Done. Fine. Presenting Vilona, Dr. Vilona, blind date with DYC. Sit down, man. <laughs> Can you see? Any fingers? I can't see. Okay, stand. <laughs> okay? And you have only 30 seconds. Okay. What happened? You have only... This is the glue stick. Okay. Is it open? Yeah. Okay. Righty, lefty? Righty. Ah, okay. So, three... Two, one. Which part you want? Eyes. Eyes. Is this the No, this back? is the front side. Okay. How do I know whether it's upside down or not? Now that you have to... Ah, okay, done, done, done. And now what else you want? Eyes, eyes. Okay, this, this, here you can put the gun. See, I'm helping you, you have to help me also. Huh? Yeah, done. Ah, perfect. Really? Perfect, perfect. Now we have lips and nose. What do you want? Nose, nose. Okay, nose. Ah, put, put the ear. I'm giving it to you as I go. Well, amazing. Lovely. What up? Hey, love. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good, that good. Very good. sound good at all. Aray, it is, it is. Now, okay. Only final thing there is lips. Lips, yeah. Yeah. Uh, correct side, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. To the to left, to the left. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Can we have a, can we, can somebody take a picture of this? Not bad, not bad. We want to see what you've done? Of course. Okay, come, come to the front. Wait, 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 we'll take it out. Okay. 
in three, two, one. Now you can take your own blindfold out. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's see you doing let's it. Let's see me. Okay. Okay. This is your. Keep this here. We'll compare it later. This is Lana. This is mine. Don't do cheating. Ah, now give it proper side. Wear your blindfold. Okay. Can Ready? you see Mel Roy? Nothing. <laughs> Nobody I can see him from here. Ah. Okay. Blue stick. What do you want? Ice. Ice, ice. This is the proper side. Yeah, yeah. You, you can just, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next one, yeah. Okay, good. Eyes? Eyes. Is it Yeah. I'm giving it to you on the correct side. You want to cheat, huh? Now what do you want, nose? Nose. Eh? Nose. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. My eyes are falling down. No, no, they are there. Okay, and lips. This is proper. Yes, you can use it. Take care. Done. Done. I'm done. Yeah. How yeah. do I do? How do I fare? Amazing. Can I, can I come and see? But I think you had the. Chance to practice, right? No, I didn't. Have... Not bad. This is. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I should have just taken doc. Like I should. Oh. Uh, please, in the eyes, focus. I should. Just, I should just become a doctor. <laughs> See yours. This is yours. Let's compare. Let's compare. Okay, not bad. I think we've not like we've done a decent job and not like. Put highs and lows anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Dr. Vilona, for coming and spending time with us at Date with DYC. We have a small token of appreciation for you. This is a small token of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, and a big token of appreciation also. So this is a small hamper. Uh, I know it's not as big as Coffee with Karan's hamper, but we are getting there. So this is one. Also. This Thank is your you. hamper. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you liked today's video. Please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. And uh, we also have some late night session with uh, live session. So please wait for that. Thank you, Doctor Vidhana. Thank you, Mel Roy. Thank you, everybody. Wise men see only fools rush in, but I can help. Falling in love with you. I hope you all liked it. You didn't like it, but I hope you all loved what I sang. We have two amazing performers who are going to come and show us their skills. One is our very own Dr. Jarvis, who you all seen in the previous week, and our very own young, dynamic, and vibrant priest, Father David. So please give them a round of applause, everybody. <laughs>
in the next episode.